All right, everybody, today I'm gonna answer my most asked question ever. I've answered it a couple times, but not in full detail, so let's get into it. Why did I get dreadlocks? How did this all happen? And there's actually a really, really good story, so let's get into it right now. So the year is 2016, was holding an event fundraiser, and I didn't really know what hair I wanted for it. So I just did what I usually did. I went short on the sides, and normal on the top, very normal boy haircut. After the event, I was like, man, I wanna change it up. I've had short hair forever. What am I gonna do? I have no idea. One day I am watching SportsCenter and I see this guy come on the screen and his name is Deontay Wilder. He is the heavyweight boxing champion and he actually ended up being my favorite boxer. And what I really liked about Deontay Wilder besides his boxing ability was his hair. He had two braids going right on the side and I thought it looked super, super dope. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna grow up my hair so I can get double braids. That's the plan. Deontay Wilder looks cool. He wears a bandana, has double braids. That's a super, super sick haircut. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I ended up growing out my hair for about six months. And I finally, finally, finally got my hair long enough to braid. It ended up looking really good. I was surprised on, on how good it looked. My hair braided really easily. I did that hair for a while, but now the dilemma was that my braids were like going down to here. So I was like, should I tie them back? Should I put them up? Should I braid and then cut off the excess hair? And I was very confused on what I wanted to do. So for about a week, I was thinking, what do I want to do with this? And then one day I was listening to a podcast in the shower. I remember the day perfectly. It was the Now What podcast with Arian Foster and he had on DeAndre Hopkins. And DeAndre Hopkins is a wide receiver in the NFL. And he was talking about his spiritual journey, growing out his dreadlocks and growing out his hair in general. I didn't really think about the dreadlock part too much. I was just thinking about the hair. He was talking about growing with your hair, the spirituality and patience it takes to grow out his hair. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. I think that's all the inspiration I needed not to cut off my hair. I was like a day away from not hearing that podcast too. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna grow up my hair. Maybe I'll do like long braids or something. I'll see what I wanna do. Dreadlocks weren't even in the picture yet. I had never even thought about it. So after I listened to that, I started doing research on hair and spirituality of hair. I started to look into my roots of native Chilean ancestry. And in native ancestry, hair is very, it's very prominent, it's very important. Native Americans from any culture have very long hair for the reasons that DeAndre Hopkins was talking about. They feel that they grow with their hair and their hair holds some type of power. The longer your hair, the more wisdom you have and the more life experience you have. So I started to look into my own roots and I was like, wow, that's super beautiful. That's a super cool reason to grow your hair. I'm gonna grow my hair forever. I was like forever, I'm growing it, doesn't matter. Week later, I decided to watch my favorite movie, Avatar. As you guys know, in the Avatar movie, their hair is used to connect to the forest. Their hair is used to connect to the animals and their hair is used to connect to each other, which is also what the Native Americans believe. So I'm watching Avatar, I'm like, oh, this is exactly what I've been researching about. This is so cool, and this is my favorite movie, so awesome. So the next day was a Super Bowl. I asked my girlfriend, Kirsten, I said, can you braid my hair like they do it in Avatar? She said, yes. So while we were watching the Super Bowl for about three hours, Kirsten was braiding my hair, and I had Avatar braids, but they were really short, they were like, so I was like, this is so cool. I think I'm gonna keep these Avatar braids in for a while. So I ended up having my Avatar braids in for about a week. I did not like them. I didn't like the feeling of, of like the tightness on my scalp. The only thing I liked about them was the look. I hated every, all the feeling about it. And when I finally took it out of my hair, I was like, oh, finally, like my hair could finally breathe. I felt so much better. I was like, what am I gonna do with my hair? I want it long but I don't want a man bun or a ponytail. I mean, I can braid it and double braid sometimes, but I don't really know what to do. One day, I was watching another one of my favorite movies and it was Predator. I was watching Predator and I was like, damn, like Predator is so sick. Predator's helmet is dope. Predator has fucking dreadlocks coming out of his helmet. And I remember watching and I was like, oh, I want those. And at the time I was playing football as well. And I was like, I wanna get a mask that looks like Predator's mask and I wanna have long braids or dreadlocks coming out and I'll look like Predator on the football field. That was my whole thing. I was like, if I can look like Predator on the football field, that'll be dope. Then I remember thinking, but I can't get dreadlocks because of cultural appropriation and I'm not black. I was like, damn, whatever, it's not a big deal. Maybe if I do thick braids, I can have like cool Predator hair while I'm playing football. As time went by, I started doing more research and I started to see that my Native American roots had dreadlocks and a lot of Native American roots, roots have dreadlocks. So I was like, hmm, okay, maybe one day. I still didn't put much thought into it because I wasn't sure how they're gonna feel and I didn't know what I wanted to do yet. I knew that I loved DeAndre Hopkins hair. I knew that I loved Predator and I knew that 
braids eventually were not gonna be comfortable enough for me. So I had a man bun for about two years and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I knew that I never wanted to cut my hair for my spiritual reasons. I, I was really growing with my hair and that was super, super important to me. And I've learned so much patience through this whole journey. I was in the shower one day. I always said like, Kirsten, maybe one day I'll get dreadlocks, maybe one day. And Kirsten said, you want dreadlocks this week? And I was like, oh. I didn't know. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I didn't know what people would think. I didn't know what I would think. I didn't know if they would be comfortable. I, I was also afraid that I didn't like the way braids felt. So if these felt like braids and then I wanted to take them out, it would fuck my hair up, damage my hair. So I was, I was really concerned about everything. But the main thing that pissed me off about this whole situation was I cared what people thought. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm so sick of having a man bun. I look like trash. I want to look cool on day to day, not just when I go out and I braid my hair. Kirsten started looking at videos on how to do dreadlocks. I think like three days later, I locked my hair and you guys have all seen that video of me getting my hair locked. And that is it. That's, that's how it happened. It's a mix of DeAndre Hopkins, the movie Predator and Native American roots and my spirituality. Those are the reasons I got dreadlocks. It wasn't just one of those things where I was like, you know, it would be cool if I got dreadlocks. It was never that. My dreadlocks are very important to me. My dreadlocks have a story in my life and my dreadlocks are me. And I'm okay with sharing the story because I hope it inspires somebody. I hope it inspires somebody on not giving a fuck what people think because I did and that's the reason I got it. I said, you know what? The only reason I'm not getting the hair I want is because I give a fuck what somebody might think. Mother fuck that. I got dreadlocks and now I'm the happiest I've ever been. I look in the mirror every day and I love what I see. And I want everyone to feel that way too. So if you're on the fence about getting dreadlocks because you're afraid of people, what people might think, just do it. If you're on the fence about doing anything that's gonna make you happy because you're afraid what people might think, just do it anyways. That's my message, that's my story. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I post vlogs every Friday for No Nights In. I post multiple videos weekly, subscribe, and I'll see you later, bye.